Right, hopefully Taylor will manage to fight all the gremlins and the communications issue, but I have no doubt that Taylor will be able to sort it out. Tamba has not moved up, not even once in the time that we've been here. So I wonder if maybe he will take us after Tingana. Tingana can also be very patient before decided to move around. But what I do think happened, just after pretty much spending all of my afternoon in the company of this beautiful boy, it's been that we got him just as his play bout finished and just as he was starting to fall asleep. So for the last, let's see, around about almost two hours, I would say, he's just been having a very nice nap. Amazing how time flies by. Every now and again, there'll be a stretch of a leg. Or, uh, yes, we saw your face once more. So it is starting to get very cold. I have already started to put on my layer, so I'm hoping that the fact that I'm feeling a lot colder, that Tamba will start waking up from this beautiful slumber and maybe just move a little bit more. I think, oh, are you, are you stretching now? Oh, that's a nice stretch. He's been playing with my feelings quite a bit. I keep thinking that he's going to wake up every time he stretches like that, and then it seems that he decides not to. I think now maybe he's gotten to the point where the grass is annoying him. Maybe the little uh, inflorescence or the dead seeds on the top of the dead flowers of the grass are annoying him. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Oh, look at that big stretch. Oh, my. Isn't he precious? He looks like a nice full belly, I must say. Or, well, maybe not the fullest it can be, but it does seem that he's had a nice... A nice big meal. <laughs> oh, Tamba, you're being quite lazy this afternoon, aren't you? But how funny is that? Isn't that typical cat-like? And I think maybe the grass is annoying him, and that's why he's been stretching out like that and trying to find a better position, something that's a bit more comfortable for him. It is funny. I haven't seen too many leopards sleep the way Tamba is doing now. Normally they... <laughs> they don't sleep so placidly. This almost looks a little bit more like a lion pose. <laughs> Rarely have I seen leopards sleeping with their belly up like that. Lions more often, but leopards, I don't know, not too many times. So I think maybe Tom is feeling quite camouflaged amongst all the grass and he feels like he can do that. Deborah, you say that that belly needs tickling. <laughs> it almost does, doesn't it? But I'm sure if we were to even sort of try and attempt to get close to him on foot, he would not be that sleepy and likely he would run away. But in a parallel universe, it, I reckon it would be quite nice. <laughs> He's almost sleeping like an older person. Megan, you're wondering how long can le leopards sleep for? Well, they can sleep for pretty much most of the day. There is a lot of debate going on about how to define leopards, whereas if they sleep the whole day or if they sleep for a few hours and they woke up and they start being a bit more active. But in general terms, they they sleep about 15 to maybe 18 hours in a day, depending on if they're looking for food or if they've got youngsters or if they're patrolling their territory and so on. So they won't sleep necessarily throughout the day like the lions do, when, for example, they will start sleeping around about 8 o'clock in the morning and only wake up 8 o'clock at night. Leopards are active a bit more in, in patches and wh what I mean by that is yes, it is believed that they are crepuscular creatures that they move when their light conditions are, are lower, but I have seen them move in the middle of the day very often and so have a lot of the other rangers around here. So it's in general, due to experiences believed that they will be active for a few hours and then they will sleep and have a nice nap for a few more hours and then again for for another few more hours. But they do sleep a lot as well compared to some of the other creatures. <laughs> Those legs are so funny. They're giving you away, boy. It's probably why you shouldn't be sleeping like that. <laughs> At one point to me, it just looked like wings. Leopard wings almost. So I don't think he could be happier right now. I think he has found the best possible way for him to sleep with belly up, leg spread, and dominating the termite mount. <laughs> he is quite funny, I'll give him that. 
my, my. So, you had us all fooled there, Tamba. We all thought that you were going to get up and maybe start stretching a little bit more. But it's almost like when we start waking up, and I don't know if it happens to you guys, sometimes when you wake up and then you're just like, mm, I'm almost there. So your your brain is aware of everything that's around you and what's going on, but then your body just rolls onto the other side of the bed and it's just like, oh, this is too nice. I'm, I just five more minutes. So I think that's what he's experiencing now and what he feels <laughs> what he feels like at the moment. But make no mistake, he won't stay here the whole night. He's likely either going to move somewhere around into this area, or perhaps if Tandy comes back, then he might move a lot. I think it would be quite something if we were to start looking for him tomorrow morning and, and find him pretty much all the way over here. Especially sleeping in that unique fashion. cat lover drawings you're wondering if we see cheetah or leopards more often well in this particular area we see a lot more leopards than cheetahs cheetahs are quite rare in general around this general vicinity and part of the reason is because we have a high density of lion and leopard and hyenas so cheetahs being out of the in in that area the the, the less ferocious of the predators or the weakest one if I can even call them weak um, they don't do too well in this often because of interpredator competition but as well it's quite quite thick around this area and it's believed that cheetahs do a bit better in areas that are a bit more open we used to see two male cheetahs two cheetah brothers are along this area and they were spotted not too long ago I think maybe yesterday or the day before they were actually seen hunting in one of the big open areas and buffalo which is a reserve that's just north of us so they are around and we see them every so often but I don't think I've heard of one being spotted at Juma for a while have you seen cheetahs at Juma recently so no cheetahs <laughs> on this game reserve it's a uh, it's a bit of a, of a blessing and a curse because we ha we have so many leopards that we can spend time with and, and lions as well then that's probably one of the reasons why we don't get some cheetahs around here they can be very easily pushed off their 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 sightings Sorry, I'm just listening to, to Alice, but 